All right, guys, about to head up for a second session today at uh, Wild Horse Pass, also known as uh, uh, Firebird International Raceway. This will be the second session of the day, and they're clearing out the uh, time trial guys right now. They're about to open it up for us here. Um, ambient temperature 75. Uh, first temperature or first session of the morning was a little bit cooler, so our catch can or AOS uh, from RR Racing did not even fill up, which is actually pretty cool. One less thing to do when you exit. Um, but uh, most likely with the higher temps now, we're probably going to get something in the catch can, so we'll need to empty at that afterward. Um, obviously also with higher temperatures, we're going to get a little bit more, most likely a little slipping and sliding, that kind of thing. The uh, tires are going to get to a higher temperature as well as the uh, surface temps are higher. Um, so we need to uh, anticipate obviously that a uh, little bit of that oversteer and understeer with these uh, worn out uh, Yokohama 8008Rs that we're rolling on right now basically but so far the session one went actually pretty well I think the car stuck a lot better than I thought um, in fact I felt like I had a slightly more you know oversteer of anything just a little bit than I did even of the understeer so it wasn't uh, wasn't so bad but yeah we should be uh, getting going here in just a second here um, yeah and we do have some pretty cool cars in the group here we've seen uh, today out here some McLarens we've seen the GT3s Corvettes, uh, a couple of the ZR1s as well. Um, it's pretty cool stuff out here. Uh, and again, we're gridding in position one, which obviously will always give us a little bit uh, cleaner laps and uh, just allow us basically to kind of just go from the beginning here without having to get stopped up, especially in the infield because it's really tight here. It's a lot more technical. So it's easy to get caught up basically and other people uh, kind of slowing down. We do have that uh, super fast Miata behind us again here. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to keep him behind. I don't know what he's got under the hood of that thing, but it's definitely not a Miata engine. Track should be going live in just a second here. And of course, we're going to rock uh, our laps with the uh, traction control on. We don't want to mess around no traction control. Uh, we actually had a little slip and slide in the first session, so we don't need more of that crap. Especially when you hear that it's a, it's a more dangerous track. There's really no runoff, and there's nothing but brick walls, or not brick walls, excuse me, but concrete barriers. So you have to be very careful. And there are some tire walls, but still, you got to be careful. This is our daily driver, so we don't want to wreck this thing, obviously. Eh? And I do intend on continuing these uh, track days, so we got to keep this thing in good shape. Yeah, by the way, our first session, our best lap was uh, 120, I believe a 120.5. So we'll see if we can uh, try and go for that. Um, generally, the issue with uh, trying to beat your first or your best lap, lap record in the second session is usually the temperature. Things get a little bit warmer, so the car doesn't stick as well. Um, also, if the temps get a little bit higher, like they did, uh, like in Chuck Walla, basically started getting to the high, high 80s, uh, even low 90s, that kind of thing. Um, you start feeling the ECU start pulling the timing, so you don't feel like the car is pulling as hard as it can on the straights. And uh, here we go, you guys.
slow, it's not going to save you any time, basically.
about to go in there. 